How we grew that business in the early days was by helping the local community, property owners, investors, rebuild, demolish or sell their homes. And we didn't do it just for the business. We did it to genuinely help. But those relationships we started fostering eventually led to business opportunities. Thank you so much for being here and listening to another episode of the Property Management Podcast. Can't wait to dive into this episode with you. And this week, I want to continue on with our theme of how to grow your property management business. Last week, we talked all about the value of a BDM to, for growth and how to BDM like a boss. So go back and take a listen to that episode if you are interested in growth via a business development management. Now, property management is about more than just bricks and mortar. It's actually about managing people and cultivating connections. And today we'll explore the strategies, insights and success that demonstrate how strong relationships can fuel the growth of your property management business. If you are anything like me, you think you know your rent roll numbers. Well, I thought I did until I had a rent roll health check and I was quite literally shocked. The money I was leaving on the table was astounding. And this is not something that I'm proud to admit. There were missed management fees, let fees, advertising and lease renewal fees not being charged and properties even without bonds. And all of this was happening despite monthly audits being conducted in my business. So how did I uncover all these gaps in my valuable income? Well, I had a rent roll due diligence from my good friend Tazi, aka the Rent Roll Queen and founder of the Tazi Way, a specialist in rent roll due diligence, business valuation and management rights. The Tazi Way is the innovative force driving the real estate industry. With 25 years of business and real estate acumen, they find gaps and risks in your agency to find undiscovered value. If you'd like to book your business in for a rent roll due diligence, head to the link in the show notes and mention that property mum for a 10% discount. So let's get started. Now, building and nurturing relationships is a crucial aspect of any successful business and the property management industry is no exception. Your ability to develop strong relationships and connections with property owners, tenants, contractors and local communities can significantly impact your business's growth. So let's dive into some strategies that can help you build and foster these relationships effectively. Now, my business in the early days was largely built off the back of relationships. We moved from the Gold Coast to Ipswich in 2010 and we knew no one. We had no family, no friends, and certainly no community. We started our real estate business at the end of 2010 and opened the doors to our new real estate business office a week before the 2011 floods in Queensland. We couldn't have embarked on a real estate business journey at a worse possible time. But how we grew that business in the early days was by helping the local community, property owners, investors, rebuild, demolish or sell their homes. And we didn't do it just for the business. We did it to genuinely help. But those relationships we started fostering eventually led to business opportunities. And one of those relationships was with a developer who had the block of land next door to ours. And he was going through a similar situation to us. Our property actually went under in the floods as well. And we were in the throes of rebuilding our our home as well. Our family spent um, six months in a motel and a granny flat in our house as we rebuilt everything. Um, So we were helping the developer next door with the property that he had just purchased literally a month before the floods. That relationship then led to hundreds of new managements for us down the track. It allowed us actually to grow 400 managements in four years, which was absolutely amazing. But when that relationship slowed down and the developer stopped building as many properties in our core area, I realized that I had put all my eggs in the one basket or into the one relationship. And I quickly had to look at developing new relationships and making new connections. 
There's been so much talk of stress, overwhelm and burnout in property management lately. Do you want to know how I overcame all of that? Yes, I hit rock bottom multiple times, but I got myself a virtual assistant. Actually, not just one, but three. But I didn't just get any VA, I got a PMVA. What are they? Well, they are the most well-trained in the business. And not only that, you also have a backup VA. So that essentially, your business is never without admin support ever again. And my health, time and business has never looked back. Your PMVA can take care of tasks like rent arrears, lease preparation and renewals, maintenance follow-up, routine inspection bookings, data entry, audits, prospecting, inbox management, and so much more. And the best part of implementing a PMVA in my business was that it freed up my time and my team's time to take care of important things like customer service. What makes me feel so safe is that PMVA is owned by Tiffany Botel, both here and in the Philippines, making my data secure and giving me more control over the VA arrangement. So head to the link in the show notes to book in your discovery call with Lady Boss Tiff. So let me share a few of the strategies and lessons that I have learned over the past decade about the importance of relationships to help you grow your property management business. And the first thing I want you to consider is going above, going beyond the immediate real estate stakeholders and connecting with the local community. Engage with neighborhood associations, sponsor local events, or participate in charity drives, volunteer even at your school, your kids' school events. By actively contributing to the community, you create goodwill and you also are in a well place to attract potential clients. Networking is another vital strategy that I have used. Attending local real estate events, join professional associations, Talk with your mortgage brokers, your accountants, people running wealth creation groups, um, builders, developers, engage with other, other industry professionals. These connections can provide valuable insights, potential partnerships and referral opportunities. Building relationships within your industry helps establish your credibility and expands your reach. And with the online world and space growing so quickly, there has never been more opportunities to connect with people in all of those different networking avenues through online Facebook groups. I use a lot of Facebook groups to connect with people and grow my businesses these days. So jump online and have a look around and see what opportunities there are for you to connect and get your reach and your expertise shown in, in to much greater and larger audiences. When it comes to reaching interstate investors or people who don't live at locally, start thinking a little bit outside the box and think in terms of investor education. How can you teach investors about your local market and sell the value of your local real estate market to them? And think big picture here. Think investor education events, online webinars, just to name a few ways of connecting on a grander scale. And don't forget about the relationship you build with your existing clients. Deliver great service and continually find ways to connect with them or have touch points with them. And they will be your greatest referral partners for many years to come. A lot of the property owners that we brought into our business 13 years ago are still with us to this day. And I am constantly looking for ways to connect with them. Oh, of course, we have you know a, a monthly newsletter. We have our, all of them uh, engaged on social media as much as we possibly can. But we also have in our business a Friday Five where we reach out to five random owners every single Friday. And I encourage everyone in our office to do that as well. So finding ways just to keep in, in front of them, keep talking to them, keep delivering value to them. Now let's talk about some key takeaways on leveraging relationships to grow your property management business. First thing I want you to do is always prioritize building authentic connections. Treat each interaction as an opportunity to forge a meaningful relationship. Don't just go in there thinking that you want to get a new management out of this connection. You need to show genuine care. You need to actively listen and understand their needs. Authenticity builds trust and lays the foundation for long-term partnerships. 
And one of the ways that I did this was through volunteering at one of my son's local sports carnivals. I was in the canteen with a lovely lady and she was managing a large family portfolio of properties. I, we just were talking about it. She was talking about the challenges she was experiencing. I told her about uh, a new software, a cloud-based software that was property me at the time and how it would help her seamlessly manage those properties and would avoid um, diminish some of the stresses that she was experiencing. And I told her to come into my office and I would show her, give her a demo on how to use it. About three weeks later, she actually called me and said, Kylie, would you manage my properties? I said, absolutely, I'd be happy to. How many are there? There was 29 properties. And I said to her, why do you want me to manage them for you? And she said, you're the first real estate agent that genuinely cared about helping me. You didn't just try to get me to bring my managements over to you. And that was a huge and valuable lesson for me about offering to help before you know going into that sales mode and wanting the business. I hope that is of some value to you, that little lesson there that I learned. Second, don't underestimate the power of referrals, um, satisfied property owners and tenants, and don't forget tenants here as well, are likely to recommend your services to others. Consistently delivering exceptional service is crucial for generating positive word of mouth and expanding your client base. And finally, remember that relationships require ongoing effort and maintenance. Regularly check in, seek feedback and be proactive in addressing any concerns or issues that arise. I do a quarterly survey to all of my existing clients just to find out what they uh, are experiencing, whether they are happy and areas that we can improve on. And I recommend you doing that as well, at least an annual survey if quarterly is too much. And building strong relationships is an ongoing process that requires time and commitment. So take some time and reflect on the importance and what you can do to improve or foster and grow the relationships in your world. It will, your property management business and growth will thank you for it. Invest in building authentic connections, prioritize effective communication and actively engage with your local community. And just remember that the success of your property management business goes beyond the managing of properties itself. It's, it is about building those relationships that drive growth and create a positive impact. Property inspections, entries, exits, incomings, outgoings, routine inspections, whatever you call them, you have to do them. And I remember when I first started as a property manager, you had to handwrite the reports and take notes on a digital camera then upload the photo memory card to your computer and hope and pray that they weren't all blurry or your computer had enough memory to store them. But gone are those days, thanks to Inspection Express. Now, Inspection Express is not only the number one tool used by leading property managers across Australia and New Zealand, but the leader in groundbreaking new tech in the industry with the launch of 360 degree virtual tours. Now, Virtual Tours is upping the ante, giving landlords, owners and directors unparalleled 360 degree virtual access to their properties. So head to the link in the show notes to book in your free demo with Inspection Express. Can I ask you a quick favour before you leave this episode? Now, we all know how important reviews are for businesses these days and mine is no different. If you could spare just a minute to follow, rate and review this podcast, it would mean a lot to me. In fact, what would get me super excited is if you share this podcast with someone in the industry who you think might need to hear some of the episodes right now. And if you'd like to find out more about working with me or any of the products I have to help you start, grow or scale your property management business, head to my website, thatpropertymum.com.au or check out the links in the show notes.